This is Raise Your Horns Radio.
Represent your grandma station or the fate at heart. This is Raise Your Horns Radio. And raise your horns, FM. Hey, did you guys hear about that guy that caught the COVID? It was because he wasn't wearing a mask. If you don't wear a mask, the COVID boogeyman will get you. <laughs> In all seriousness, listeners, 
We gotta make sure that we stay apart from one another at a safe distance and only go out when we have to. These are extremely trying times that we're all experiencing, and although we may all have our reasonings for what's going on, I think there's one thing we can agree on. If we don't wear a mask, social distance ourselves, more and more people are gonna suffer. We gotta make sure that we do our part and stay as a very strong community of heavy rockers to make sure that we all keep grandma alive. This is a message from our sponsors at Race Your Horns Radio. Welcome back, listeners! You're listening to a hot new episode of Raise Your Horns Radio! Coming to you live from the underground and bringing you everything that is dark and heavy. We started the show off with Dirty Stevie and their song, Ride On, followed by Northern Fallout with their song, Nothing Left to Lose. We're going to go ahead and uh, do a feature on a new artist. His name's Steve Ricardo, otherwise known as Steve the Machine. He reigns out of British Columbia, Canada. And uh, I ask you guys go ahead and show him some love. Crank your speakers. Steve Ricardo, welcome to the uh, Raise Your Horns Radio. What is up, people? This is Steve Ricardo, and you are listening to Raise Your Horns Radio on YouTube. (laughs) <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's late night. So it's, uh, hey, thanks, for Mark, for having me on this. And uh, entertain you folks with something about me. So uh, right now, let's let's start from the forwards now and go backwards a little bit. It's more interesting, I kind of think. Uh, over the past few years, I have been... Um, dwelling my feet into this YouTube thing and I've got my own channel uh, where I review gear and I do crazy ass music videos and I do the Ola thing, the Ola England stuff and I take uh, pop songs and I turn them into heavy metal versions of stuff. I review gear, etc, etc. I do all the fun stuff that, uh, why not? Let's do it, right? Life is short. So dwelling back from that before COVID hit, ta-da, remember COVID where we actually had live shows and we were able to go see concerts and stuff? Yeah, it's starting to fade with me here. So, all right, going back to that, uh, a few years before that, up until recently, I was in two awesome, awesome tribute bands where I played Malcolm in an ACDC tribute band, Female Fronted, Bonnie Scott, and I played Zach Wilde and Tony Aomi in a Black Sabbath, a little bit of Aussie tribute band called Sister Sabbath. Yes, where she wears a sister outfit. <laughs> um, it, was, it was fun, fun stuff. And I got to play Zach Wilde, which is one of my uh, all-time heroes growing up, uh, listening to music and stuff. So, um, And then what got me into music, if we kind of go towards that generation, was basically um, it all started with my grandmother. And she got me a cassette of Twisted Sister. Um, yeah, for those of you who remember cassettes. And I got the cassette, and there's D. Schneider all dressed in his glory makeup thing, and he's holding a, you know, a leg of a beef leg or a cow leg or whatever. And I asked my grandma, who spoke no English whatsoever, I says, why'd you get me the, uh, what's with this? And she goes, well, he looked hungry, he's holding food, and the bone didn't have any meat on it. So I figured, well, if I buy this, and he'll get some money for food. Well, good analogy. So, and uh, thus the whole heavy metal genre started with me with uh, Twisted Sister, whom I met later on in life uh, and was a little bit of a mentor growing up, a uh, really cool guy and just down to earth and, uh, and kind of showed me the things not to do, so which was kind of neat. Uh, moving, dwelling into other history of what got me into music, just, uh, you know, and then I got uh, Metallica, and I heard Metallica for the first time, I heard Anthrax, and it just kind of took off from there. Um, born and raised in Madrid, Spain. Um, yeah, of all places. And then we moved, when I was old enough to walk, to uh, Chula Vista, California, El Cajon. Um, yeah, great place to grow up. And then we came to Canada. What the hell were we fucking thinking? Anyway, um, yeah, my dad was uh, Hungarian and my mom was Spanish. Um, My dad met my mom because my mom worked for a place that buried people. She sold caskets. (laughs) And my my charming father was uh, trying to bury his uh, second wife. 
and uh, didn't have enough money to get a casket. So she helped him out, and next thing you know, yeah, uh, that's how that works. So anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, do check out my YouTube channel, as I mentioned. Uh, I've also got TikTok. Uh, basically, I don't even know what my TikTok address is. What is my TikTok address? Because this is important stuff here, right? Because if you don't remember it, then how are you supposed to promote it? So it's Steve Ricardo uh, 777. Steve Ricardo 777. That's my TikTok address. And my YouTube, you can pretty much find me. There's probably going to be a link that uh, he's going to give you. Otherwise, um, yeah, you know what? I even forgot my bloody hell Steve Ricardo again. So you're going to see a photo of me with uh, the blue beard, three shots, all amalgamated into one kind of thing. And... Uh, yeah, music has been a passion of life that we just, you know, a lot of us, it's in our blood and we just keep going and going and going. So um, favorite types of music and guitars and guitars. I don't have a favorite shape. I just, I like guitars. I buy them like I buy socks. They're awesome. You know, you got to change your socks. You got to change your guitar, right? So um, I started collecting guitars while on tour. Uh, I would hit up all the pawn shops in all the cities I would uh, go to. And I would just scope stuff out. I've got a lot of cool little history guitars that I've gotten over the years that are sentimental or that I've gotten from uh, different musicians and players um, and stuff like that. So, yeah, cool stuff. Um, and, I mean, I love Jackson. I love Charvel. Uh, huge Les Paul fan. Um, Jackson V has always been in the back blood of what I do. So it's a little bit of everything, right? Um and brands that support me, I'm going to give a big shout out to WB Gear and Hoogie, which is, um, he is a tech for Shinedown and he wears a uh, guitar tech for Lamb of God. Um, but yeah, just a skookum guy, really awesome. And um, the company, do check them out, WB Gear, and uh, give him a big shout out. So with them, They've got different sponsors that you get on different packages. Um, so Intune Guitar Picks is one of my sponsors through them. Uh, SIT Strings. Uh, I have been with Marshall Amps for, God, uh, over 20 years. They've been a great supporter. Um, phenom phenomenal company. Just super cool guys. And then I was with Schechter for 20 plus years. And uh, an awesome guitar company who later kind of kind of flopped a little bit and went down the tubes. But uh, if you find their guitars, are still awesome and they're still a great bunch of guys. Coffin Case is another one that kind of throws out there. And uh, <coughs> yeah, you know, dust the road and you try and uh, help companies out. And you, it's a back and forth kind of relationship, even with... Um, you know, doing the reviews and stuff. Uh, I reach myself out to different companies, Long and McQuaid, Jackson and Fender, and this is what I do and, uh, you know, how we can help each other out. So, uh, what else? Coming down the pipeline, I'm just, uh, I'm excited just to keep playing and doing this COVID stuff. So I've got some new stuff coming on my YouTube channel that I discuss all the time with either reviews or something to do that would help you, the listener, out, whether it's guitar training or just some tidbits on the success of what you're doing. Keep pushing the envelope and never give up, right? It's a dream that you don't want to, you know, don't want to end kind of thing. Um, but for more stuff that I do, just go check out my channel. Uh, Mark will put it up there, of course. And uh, just have a gander of what I do. And if you have any questions, please reach out to me and... Uh, whether through TikTok or Instagram or Facebook even. And I'm always willing to lend a hand out to, to help a brother out, man. It's a, it's a short life and let's enjoy everything that we got because to me, music is the most neutral thing of way of thinking in life and stuff. So um, with going back, now I'm turning the page here. So if I go back years ago when I started playing, so Twisted Sister came up and then, you know, Metallica came up and then I got my own band. I started, uh, I auditioned for a band in Seattle. It was called Messiah. And then we ended up doing a lot of tours of Europe. Uh, we opened up for Anthrax and things like that. And uh, and uh, it was fun. We played a couple of festivals over the years. Our singer passed away due to a drug overdose. And then I took over the realm of singing a little bit. And then from there, started my own band, Cornucopia, where I did a bunch of shows and opened up for like... Um, who did I open up for? Oh, wow. Lots of bands... Uh, Strap Young Lad comes to mind, Death Angel comes to mind, played Seattle Metal Fest a couple times. Um, yeah, US tours from there kind of dwelled into a rock 
kind of like Skid Row meets Motley Crue. Uh, Wrecking Crew was the name of the band from Vancouver. Joined them, did a couple of tours with them on the West Coast. And then forever, just behold, just keep playing and doing different projects. So um, independently now, thanks to COVID, because I just keep busy doing my YouTube channel and keep myself out of trouble. Because if it's not for music, I think I would definitely either be arrested or <laughs> serving time for something stupid that I have done. But uh, life is good. And, you know, always think of that as an above and beyond thing. If you've got a dream and a passion left for it, please do not give up and... Uh, and, and go for it. Uh, like I said, you know, there's there's no holds barred when it comes to music. Do whatever you feel like and, and push the envelope. Um, stick to those people around you that kind of give you encouragement and raise you up. And ignore the ones that try and bring you down to their level. And stay above all that. Simplicity, right? It's music. What can you say? So, um, yeah. Okay, um stuff that I mean there's lots of bands out there that constantly listen to bands and we all listen and our taste changes uh, I mean everything from like I listen to Spanish music to classic rock metal thrash has always been there um, local bands I mean seriously go out and support your local bands go check them out um, as well I mean not with COVID I think the biggest thing with COVID to understand is just to keep yourself active um, and I, I commend and I salute the bands that do that, that are doing that, that are just trying to stay active, making little home videos and YouTube things. Because at the end of the day, if you let yourself slide, you are going to get forgotten when the, all the doors open. Because you got to build yourself up again. So I salute all the bands that are keeping themselves occupied and making CDs or making little demos. And, you know, posting on YouTube, posting on Facebook, Twitter, you know, TikTok, all these little things. It keeps the ones in the forefront. So those are the ones that I really love and I support um, because they stay active and they stay uh, focused on that goal and they just keep moving forward and saying, you know, I got to keep writing music. We got to keep doing this. So that is awesome. So those are the ones you kind of look out for and, um, and stuff like that. But as far as bands in the industry, I mean, um, there's Lacuna Coil in this moment, Metallica, you know, Slipknot, Slayer, all the general ones. And then there's stuff like bands like Nonpoint and um, supporting acts that keep coming across. And, and um, yeah, nothing really comes to mind right now because I'm always listening to something different every couple of days. So, like, I'm a lately, what have I got lately? Lately, I've been listening to a lot of. Um, well, I got Pantera back on the brain again. And of course, uh, having dinner, I've been on this huge jazz kick. I don't know why. Um, I just do. So it's cool, right? You know, I've ventured in different, in different uh, genres to try and pull things out that inspire you. So that's half the battle. And it's, it's a good battle because it keeps your brain always on focus and on par with new things. So, yep. Go to Spotify, you see all my music on there as well. I do, I've done a, quite a few albums over the years of instrumental stuff. John Five is a big influence on me. Uh, Zach Wild, uh, bands like Nonpoint, um, Hell Yeah, Pantera, of course, growing up. And uh, just an endless array of, you know, even going to like Rat and Def Leppard, music, anything in general. So life is good. Um, Coming on the pipeline, just check out the YouTube channel and uh, you'll see whatever's happening. So. I know I've got a couple cover have covers gone heavy to do right now. That's going to be down the pipeline, and I'm enjoying my time on TikTok. Yes, TikTok. Of all the things I thought I wouldn't be going, thanks to my wife and Mark saying, you know, hey, go out in that direction, and you're going to try TikTok. So uh, for all the stupidity that's on there, there's all, um, some really good guitar players, drummers, singers, and a lot of cool people on there. So, you know, open your boundaries and reach out to different things in life. So TikTok would be an interesting one to reach out to. So no holds barred, right? Um, there you go. So I have been Steve Ricardo. You guys have been great listening to this. And this is Raise Your Horns Radio on YouTube. All right. See ya. All right, Steve. Thank you so much for sharing all of your interesting facts and uh, all that kind of stuff, skeletons in your closet, shit like that. We love you, buddy. Your music's fucking awesome. And I just wanted to let you know I got a hell of a lot of some fan mail. Everybody loves your stuff. They think you're fucking awesome. They want me to keep playing your shit. So we're going to go ahead and do a Raise Your Horn triple feature. We're going to go ahead and play three of your songs. 
We're gonna go ahead and play this first one called My Guitar. Go ahead, guys, crank your speakers. This is Steve Ricardo, and you're listening to Raise Your Horns Radio. Let's get right to it. Are you gonna play that damn guitar again?
Triple feature. This is Steve Ricardo with Uncle Jack. Enjoy. Thank you. 
You're listening to a Raise Your Horn triple feature. This is Steve Ricardo with Steak and Cheese. Hope you enjoyed this shout out. We're gonna go ahead and make sure that we play your stuff and that it's on regular rotation on Raise Your Horn Radio. <laughs> right now, we're gonna go ahead and take a quick break so I can take a fucking piss and let a dart. Here's an important message from one of our sponsors. Hey, this is Wayne from Exit Right 4. If you like it heavy, keep it locked to Raise Your Horn Radio. Howdy, partner. How you doing? My name's Dan, Dan Crowley. I got a story for you people I'd like to hear and then share. You see, it wasn't just too long ago that I went out to a heavy metal concert and I broke my neck. It's crazy, darn it. Heck, I remember when I was just a little guy going out to shows. You used to be able to go around, you'd even find a girlfriend or two at one of them shows. Maybe have a little bit of some fun with the green if you know what I mean. What I'm getting at is, when you're going out to shows, please be polite to your surroundings. Don't be going off all crazy, jumping off of rafters, elbowing people in the face, or picking somebody up just because he's a small guy. It ain't his fault he was born like that. Let's go ahead and share the love of all of this metal community and hard rockers out there. After all, with all this mainstream music on the radio, 
What have we got grateful for nowadays if it ain't for our brotherhood of hard rockers and metalheads going out to share all their love for hard, heavy music? Remember, kiddies, when you're out there and you're having fun, don't hurt those around you. Everybody knows that they're there to have a good time, so let's just all get along and share in the brotherhood of anything that's heavy. This is a message from our sponsors at Raise Your Harns Radio. Oh my god, I love it so much! I'll tell you what, I love it! No, I love it! I love it! Raise Your Horns Radio! This is Raise Your Horns Radio! Alright guys, well, last week we debuted a new band called New Nobility and we played their song Blue Butterfly. You guys said you wanted to hear it again, I listened. This is New Mobility with their song, Blue Butterfly. Let's turn those speakers all the way up to 11. Fuck yeah! fucking rock all the way from Sydney, Australia. I love how everybody's connecting for one common cause and that's to share their music with the world. We could all use a little bit more headbanging as far as I'm concerned. This is Artesian with their song Whispers. You're listening to Raise Your Horns Radio!
Fuck yeah, that was Artesian with their song Whispers. Got me some fucking neck injury territory there, boys. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and play a song from one of our favorites. This is Broken Romeo with their song Mutually Sedated. Enjoy. Sedated. Awesome shit, guys. All right, we've got a new, a new submission to the Raise Your Horns family. These guys reign out of London, Ontario, and they're called Sinjin Smite. 
This is their song, Black Market. Turn your speakers up and welcome them to Raise Your Horns Radio. Well, I'll try to make this simple, baby. I've got a whole lot of things entwined. Well, I've been working on a project lately that I hope is gonna twist your mind. Fuck yeah, welcome Sinjin Smythe to the Raise Your Horns community. That was their song, Black Market. Again, you can uh, find them. They're out of London, Ontario. Their band name is uh, spelled S-I-N-J-I-N Smythe, S-M-Y-T-H. Awesome shit, boys. I love it when I get some new Canadian hard heavy music. All right, next up, an old favorite Footsteps to Gaia, their song Unfollow. Oh, 
was Footsteps to Gaia with their song Unfollow. How you guys doing out there? Anybody want me to uh, do a shout out? I can go ahead and uh, give you guys a shout out if you want. Send me an email. RaiseYourHornsRadio at gmail.com. I'll go ahead and uh, give you guys a shout out. Just uh, do me a favor and make sure that it's uh, completely politically incorrect and raunchy as fuck. If it's clean, it ain't getting on my station. Simple as that. So, uh, all right, we're going to go ahead and do a new segment on Raise Your Horns Radio, and it's called New and Heavy in the News. Chris Jericho says he's not affected by Sebastian Bach's attempt to bury him. He said, be my guest. Uh, Apparently, Chris Jericho responded to Sebastian Bach over allegations that the Fozzy frontman uses pre-recorded vocal tracks uh, during live performances. The former Skid Row vocalist initially accused Jericho of miming to a tape at a Fozzy concert uh, in a social media post. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a huge fan of Chris Jericho. I think he's been working really fucking hard in the industry to get his stuff out there. And uh, he's also a former uh, professional wrestler with uh, WWE. I'd be careful going out uh, sending in accusations like that or else you get your fucking head kicked in. But uh, uh, what else we got here? Tesla bassist Brian Wheat apparently credits Trump for Pfizer vaccine development saying hats off to the man. And, uh, you know, we got certain uh, political views across this beautiful nation. And uh, I know fucking honesty, being a Canadian, I don't give a shit what goes on in the U.S. with those guys' uh, politics. But, you know what? The man got some stuff done. We have a new president in power now. We got to welcome Joe Biden. So, uh, all the uh, all the luck and success to you guys in the United States of America. Uh, we're your guys' little brother here to the north. Um, so, good luck to you guys. Hope you figure out all that political bullshit. Uh, what else we got? Orianti partners with Gibson on new acoustic guitar. Gibson has announced a new partnership with the Australian-born guitarist Orianti. And uh, for you guys who uh, have been following her, she's been working really hard. She's partnered with guys like Steve I and Carlos Santana. So she's been working really hard. Obviously, she deserves all the success. So, um, um, yeah, congratulations to Orianti. Um, a day to remember perform a new song entitled Everything We Need during Live at the Audio Compound. There's a listen live stream, and uh, it was a free acoustic live stream that happened on Monday, January 25th. If you're a huge fan of Data Remember, go ahead and Google it. Uh, YouTube that shit and check it on out. Uh, former Sepultura drummer Igor Cavaliera is offering exclusive content via Patreon. It's a exclusive streaming service where you can find additional content um, on him. Also, Eddie Van Halen has a Merle and Beal at Guitar Center's flagship Hollywood store. Pretty fucking cool. Rest in peace, Eddie. We all miss you. The world will never be the same without you. Volbeat announces a 15th anniversary vinyl reissue of Strength, Sound, and the Songs. It'll come out on March the 26th. So um, that's really cool. And lastly, Adrian Smith and Richie Kotzen drop a new music video for Taking My Chances, and they've announced more album details as well. I'm a huge fan of both of these guitar players. Go ahead and check out their stuff. It's awesome. All right, that's everything that was new and heavy in the news. Next up, we've got a new submission to Raise Your Horns Radio. This is the Design Abstract rating out of Ontario with their song, The Return. Crank your speakers and show them some love. You're listening to Raise Your Horns Radio!
Submission by the band The Design Abstract with their song The Return. Again, these guys rain out of Ontario and they bring some heavy music. You guys are being officially added to the Raise Your Horns radio. We're going to go ahead and play an old fan favorite here raining out of Guelph, Ontario. This is Exit Right 4 with their song This Time. Yeah. 
All right, that was Exit Right 4 with their song, This Time. Last week, we debuted a brand new band called With Conviction, reigning out of Edmonton, Alberta. We're going to go ahead and play another new song on Raise Your Horns Radio by them. Crank your speakers. This is their song, Insecure. Conviction and their song Insecure. 
Those guys drain out of Edmonton, Alberta, and they know how to keep it heavy. They know how to make sure they bring that neck burning, itching, head banging fever. All right, last up for the night. This is Among the Automated with their song, Binary Bloodline. edition of Raise Your Horns Radio. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed our segment on Steve Ricardo. Steve, one last shout out to you, buddy. We love you. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Also, giving a shout out to anybody out there who wants to uh, submit their music. If it makes me bang my head, I guarantee it I'm going to play it. You can go ahead and send all submissions to Raise Your Horns Radio at gmail.com. That's RaiseYourHornsRadio at gmail.com. Make sure to attach all files in a zipped MP3 format. 
with a full band bio so that I can explain to the listeners what they're listening to. If you make it difficult for me, I'm not playing your music. It's as simple as that. So, it's your choice. You want to get on the station? Keep it fucking simple. All right, guys. Well, that concludes it. I'm going to get out of here and start drinking. And remember, shit happens when you party naked. Peace.